The buzzwords AI and XR, are they there to just be a buzzword or are they there to really boost your productivity? But to be able to answer this question, you really need to know what AI is. I think that most of you will probably know some examples of AI, but it's really important to know that it is a technique that enables machines to be able to mimic human behavior. That's a really important part to understand through the presentation. Of course, you will also hear some other terms like machine learning, deep learning. These are actually subsequent to artificial intelligence. It's a subset of AI techniques, machine learning. That's something you need to remember. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Very important to see. And in this graph, you really see how it's all working together. On the other hand, today, we know that there are some everyday AI products in our lives. On the left side, you of course see the, uh, the thing that everybody knows, that's Siri. You also have other variants like Google Assistant. You have also Amazon. Um, so we have a lot of other different AI products that we are used to see in our daily lives. On the fully right side, you see the humanoids. The humanoids are not that familiar on today, mm -hmm. But what is very important is that you will see them more often in shopping malls and other centers, like in Dubai, you see them often, but they are there to really help you, advise you, but they also have AI inside to be able to learn from your behavior. Like you will daily see, if you use like Google Assistant daily and at eight o'clock you will set uh, the alarm and at 8.15 you ask, to Google, set me a coffee, then it will still remember that you do it on Monday, every day, every time in the week, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and on Saturday and Sunday, you do it a lot later, they will remember it. They will mimic your humic behavior. So it's very important to understand in the way or on the matter that I'm talking on today. On the other side, next to the buzzword AI, we also have the buzzword XR. What's XR? Well, to be able to understand XR, you need to know what AR, VR, and MR is. AR is augmented reality. So it's something that is in your real world and that's on top of your daily view. Right? If you look towards VR or virtual reality, then you are in a total different world. Like I'm here now standing in a studio, but you will not fully see the studio. So that's being somewhere else in a virtual world. You can do that today with a VR headset, but you can do that, of course, with other things like your own phone, actually. If you have mixed reality, that's a combination between augmented and virtual reality. That will also be an example I will show you later on in this uh, presentation. That will be an example of it. So to understand XR, when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about extended reality, what is a combination or a collection term for these three uh, other terms, okay? But of course, we can talk a lot about buzzwords and we can say what they are, but it's very important to understand what you can do with them. And that's something that gives you extra productivity or efficiency, of course. So that's very important. And therefore, I will just show you some examples great examples that show you with small steps, you can gain a lot of productivity. One of our customers, they have often job interviews. They put like a lot of job vacancies on the market. Let's say, for example, they need, they need five job vacancies. For every job vacancy, so you have about 100 candidates. So that means actually, that you have about 500 interviews a day. Not on one day, but you will need to have them. So how are you able to find like the right people and not only the best people, but how do you find them? Because interviewing 500 people and afterwards saying, I still know which candidate was the right one. Well, that seems to be hard, but it is also really hard. Because if you then look towards, of course, the number of vacancies, the hit ratio, and then the time that you need for interview, and that's still taking not into account the time that you will need to be able to find really the right candidate. Well, if you combine all this, then you know you really need a solution. In the previous days, you could do this without AI and really do all the interviews. And 
then you will be definitely more than 500 minutes far. But on the other hand, we have like a solution with AI that can help us to speed up this process. In this small movie, you will see that there is a predictive model and this movie will show you um, that there is a model that loads the data and that data gives the power of, of course, searching through all the solutions, being able to find out the right candidate. And in the end, you will see that there is a, a selected list. And in the top list, you will also find the best candidates or the right candidates that you need to interview. And you will go from about 500 interviews to about five or four interviews per job vacancy. And if you find the right people at that point, then you solved your issue and you saved a lot of time. So in the green list, you will now find the candidates that are selected by the system itself. It's something that's inside of an SAP system. Eh? An SAP system on today uh, is in a lot of our companies uh, present. Um, and they are now working on the intelligent enterprise. Yeah. So the intelligent enterprise is actually the evolution of the older day ERP systems towards an ERP system that's much smarter. Uh, so in the previous example where you find out the right job candidate, there are also other smart, intelligent AI supported cases that are present within the ERP system. On the one side, uh, we have cases like predicting excess or expiring stocks, what is very important that you can gain a lot of money with it. You, cannot, you have also options like predicting expiring contracts of call-offs, predicting the delivery date, or on the other side, you also have a package builder. What do I mean with the last one? Well, for example, you want to order 10 panels, like with a customer of Eurizide, and on 15 panels, uh, 50 panels, you have the truck that is full. That's better to order a full truck, then only order like five panels, and then the month, next month you need another five. Oh, then you need to buy and pay twice as much for the delivery. So it determines for you what's the best thing to do in the system, what you need to order when, and the amount of what you need to order. So in that case, the AI system supports the efficiency again of your um, productivity. What is very important is that you do not always need to take big steps in AI. You can start really small with the cases and the examples that I'm showing here, or you can go that, much, that step further, like in this case. It's a quality control. Uh, everybody knows quality control, of course, but it's very important here. Uh, here we are working together with another partner who is called RoboVision, and this application is linked to SAP uh, quality management. Uh, what we do here is actually we have a lot of, be of a lot of cookies and all the cookies go through the process. But on a certain step, we need to check if the cookie is right or not. So in our SAP system, we have in the back end, we have our parameters. And these parameters define if the cookie is made right or not. In the RoboVision system, all the pictures are being taken. This can be on a very, very quick process and can be going very fast. Every package picture is being checked together with this data that is behind in the SAP system. If the cookie is right and correct, it goes through the process. If it isn't, it's being kicked out of the process and it's going into scrap. And of course, then the company can decide what they do with scrap. That's another topic. But this example shows again, uh, it's, a, it's already a bit farther and it already asks more investment, of course. Um, but it is a next step what you can do with AI. So AI in its own, it's something powerful. And please don't think you always need to take big steps to implement it within your system, because even in our core ERP systems, like in SAP, you will see that AI is already present in their latest versions and you can make use of them. So it's very important just to move on uh, with your vendor in your own product. So this is what I wanted to tell you about the first buzzword. The other one is extended reality. In this case, I'm, I'm going to show you 
one of the examples uh, of cases that we've done uh, lately. This case and this customers, of course, uh, you will also see it in, in, in the small movie later, uh, that I will show you later, is the one of Schroeder. They are, have the problem that they have a lot of customers and a lot of prospects. The question is, I want to sell a product, but the product isn't there yet. It's like you want to buy a car, but you cannot see the car or you cannot know how the car will look. You just need to imagine it for yourself. Well, this was the problem that Schroeder has, and we try to solve this together with extended reality. What did we do? Well, for first of all, we created a 3D configurator. The 3D configurator gives you the possibility to just set aside somebody who wants to buy the product and just show you what you can do with that product. So you have the lightning solution, and the lightning solution, we can adapt it. We can move it up, we can move it down, we can move it any way that we want it. And then you will say, but Nick, yeah, now you see a lightning solution, but how will the light reflect in the real world? Well, it isn't a problem. In augmented reality, what you will see later, or virtual reality, we have the possibility to show you how the light will fall down in the environment. So what we do here, the sales guy sits together with the person who is the prospect, demonstrates it, goes step by step through the procedure, creates the lightning solution that he wants, and then says, okay, this is how it's going to look with all the selected topics, all the selected products that we have, and this is what it will look like in your virtual world. In this case, of course, uh, we demonstrate it in, in, in a scene, but we can do whatever city you want, whatever place you want. It's all possible just to deploy it because it's virtual. And in a virtual world, if you're now on the Bahamas or you're here somewhere in Belgium, it doesn't matter. We can show you how it will look in your own environment. What gives the extra added value if you're trying to sell, of course. So this is one thing. On the other side, of course, uh, we created or we made it possible that you see the lightning solution in a, f in a tablet world. Why in a tablet? Well, it's quite easy for a sales guy just to take his tablet with him to display this lightning solution and to be able to demonstrate it step by step. The Flexia light solution, what you see here, uh, is a, we are able to adapt it, we are able to turn it around, we are really able to display every part of it uh, and even also zoom in. So it gives the customer or the prospect the real added value of seeing the product in front. And it's not only that, because uh, you saw the previous version was uh, a 3D configurator that we transmitted towards a virtual world. This is the same version, but not transmitting him to the virtual world, retransmitting him to the augmented reality world. So the augmented reality world, like I explained in the beginning, is really displaying your product into the daily field. So where am I, where am I now? I can just set a lightning solution, see it and walk around. So with this tablet, you can just hold it in front of you, start walking around, go closer, go back and you will really see that the lightning solution changes. It will also adapt the light because yeah, if you sell a lightning solution, it's not only important what it can do, but it's also important how the light itself moves around in the building or on the streets or wherever you are. And that's also something we translated into the application itself. To give you a better field or to give you a better ID, uh, we have this movie um, that shows you and displays you the possibility of virtual reality. On the first page, you see that we are actually selecting a lightning solution. We are placing that lightning solution in that VR world. We can also adapt it. We can change it. We can play around with the lightning. We can play around with all the aspects that you want to change. Remind that you're now not just looking to your screen like you're doing now, but you have on your head a headset and you're really walking around in that world. 
What is very important is that when you are ready and you think, ah, oh, this is the solution that I really want. This is, this is the light aspect that I want. You can really save your creation and really send it to Sri there where they have the advantage that they really know what you want and you can start talking on another level. You're not talk, talking on the first level where you're just thinking what you want, but you really already seen what you want. In this case, you, so you now see one environment, of course. Uh, you can, of course, uh, reselect, change the lightning solutions and make it possible that the light changes of the direction. Um, but it's also possible to go for two total different uh, lightning solution. Uh, it all depends how many there are present uh, in the application. On the other side, you also have the possibility to change of full environments. Uh, in this short movie, we didn't do that, but it is really possible to change. So is that the only case that is possible with extended reality? No, there are still other cases that are possible. You need to take into account that it is probably more easy for you to imagine that AI is more easy to gain productivity, but it is also easy to extend with XR what is possible uh, to gain and extend your productivity. So we have four small cases. I will not explain them, of course, into details. But on the one side, uh, left upper side, we have a safety training application. It's a safety training application that gives the possibility towards the company to train their personnel to do the right steps. It's very important with certain procedures or certain jobs that need to be executed that you follow the right steps. Because if something goes wrong and you didn't do the right steps, then of course um, you will hurt yourself and you will damage also goods of products of a company and yourself. So safety training is one of the easiest aspects within XR to see the added value. Due to the COVID times, it's not a word that I like to use anymore because it, it's already taken a long time and everybody is probably sick of it. But remote assistant is, is one of the cases that's also easy to show the added value. If you have experts that are on the other side of the world and you want to see together with them what you need to do, then it's quite easy with remote assistant to follow and to see what they need to do step by step. Very important, it is not necessary to have like the expensive headsets, but you can also do it via your phone, just via Microsoft Teams hub, and you can just look into the products. Yeah. On the other side, if you have the avail avail availability or the possibility of an AR headset, well, then it's also much easier to use because you have your both hands free at that point. On the right upper side, we have our training configurator. What is that? Well, you saw a few slides ago the 3D configurator uh, that you seen actually there. This is a training configurator. It gives you the possibility to create a training plan in a 3D model and create and upload this application towards a headset. So you can create your own training program without needing, of course, a lot of expensive consultants, but just use the application, create your own training and let your people uh, use it and actually play because gamification is the easiest way to let people learn uh, on, a, on a fun way. So in the last case that I wanted to show or demonstrate here is the warehouse simulation. Well, in a warehouse simulation, it's, it's easy to imagine yourself how it would look like but it's not easy to follow a full process on how will everything run over there. Will it be easy to collect? How will the process go? And via the warehouse simulation, you have the possibility to go through the full warehouse in VR and to see step by step how the process works, what everything can do and how it will look. So this was about the second buzzword. So, I think that with this short presentation, of course, I showed you that AI and XR aren't just buzzwords. You can really do something with them. You can do it really uh, proactive. 
uh, and start using just your own systems and go step by step. The same with XR, you can just start by using your phone more in the field and use it to communicate together. Um, and then of course, it's an easy step up towards the next platform or a next hardware solution that can give you the ad extra added value. That's it for me. Uh, I thank you to listening, but enjoy the rest of the summit.